What's going on, my friends? Zachary Betts here. And today is Tuesday, August 25th, 2015. And, um, I have regret to tell you the IndyCar driver, Justin Wilson, dies has died from injuries he has suffered from in a Pocono crash but first I'm going to show you a glimpse of me spying at the next door neighbors before that storm on Sunday as you can tell um, that guy was mowing, mowing, the, mowing the lawn and that girl with a with that girl who lives next door, his wife, that which is his wife, the neighbor's wife, um, was wearing her hair and ponytail and a pink tank top. Was watering her plants. She wanted to get it done before before the storm came, and they got that um, done. Just as the rain started, I'm going to show you that video right away. Look at that. One of the next door neighbors is mowing the lawn near a severe thunderstorm. Oh, man. Looks like one of the girls in a tank top and a hair up, hair up and a ponytail is that blonde girl she's she's working on the plants in the rain and they're gonna get soaking wet <laughs> aren't they I think that girl next next door thinks she I really think she's super sexy. But I guess not. Jack. Well, that's what I that's what YouTubers do. Some YouTubers do. And what did you think about that? I really thought about that. So, well, they got that girl um, finished watering, water, watering her plants, and then the guy was mo finished mowing the lawn as the rain started. So, um, that was a cool video. And don't try this at home. If you're a YouTuber, don't even try that. So, I'm gonna give you the video a bidding tribute to Justin Wilson, the Indy car driver who passed away. Passed away. Um, yesterday so here it is and I've I've downloaded the videos from uh, from WTHR an NBC an NBC affiliate in Indianapolis Indiana so be sure to watch that tribute video and I'll be back so here it is on my YouTube channel the uh, video, the news of Justin Wilson passing away after that fatal crash at Pocono, Pennsylvania. 
Meanwhile, tonight, IndyCar driver Justin Wilson remains in a coma in critical condition at this hour after tragedy on the track. He was hit in the head by flying debris during a race at Pocono Raceway. Our sports director Dave Calabro is in Allentown, Pennsylvania with more tonight on the 37-year-old driver's condition and other IndyCar drivers who are rallying around him. Dave? Well, good evening, everybody. Justin Wilson's family is gathered here at Lehigh Valley Hospital. I can tell you there's been many, many IndyCar drivers have been here and IndyCar personnel all waiting for some news about Justin Wilson. You know, Justin Wilson is known as a great, great human being, but on the track, he's a fierce competitor. And tonight he's fighting for his life here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Wilson is in the intensive care unit here at Lehigh Valley Cedar Crest Hospital. Family and friends have been here since late Sunday night. Wilson is in a coma, listed in critical condition with a severe head injury. Oh, he's gone. He was hit by flying debris after this crash in the Pocono IndyCar race. Wilson is 37 years old, a husband, a father of two girls. His big smile and warm personality have made him very popular on the circuit. That charm was shining very brightly on the night of the Indy 500 Victory Banquet. It's always great to, uh, to lead laps around here, but um, unfortunately, I keep choosing the wrong laps to lead, so you know, yeah, I've got to do what Jan does and uh, try and get those last few laps. Great job. You know, that, was, that was impressive, nice work, and uh, you know, we just keep working on our thing. It's, it's always fun to be here. As I said, you know, I love driving at this place. It's, uh, it's like nothing else, and great teammates to work with this year. I mean, they're, they're so fantastic. I think Marco's calling me right now, but uh, you know, that, I think that's him. Yeah, think it he's is. smiling over there. Thanks, Marco. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, just a, a great group of guys to work with and uh, a lot of fun. So, you know, hopefully can be here more often. Love to be back next year, but um, also got to thank my wife who's here this time. So, uh, you know, it's great to, to have her by my side. Congratulations. Thank you. Having a love has been simply amazing for Justin Wilson. Just do a hashtag, pray for Justin. You'll see that on Twitter. I'm Dave Calabro. We're in Allentown, Pennsylvania. When we have more information about Justin Wilson's condition, we'll bring it to you here on Channel 13. Live in Allentown, I'm Dave Calabro. Yeah, we'll look forward to that. Thank you, Dave. Meanwhile, as Dave mentioned, that hashtag prayers for Justin, it continues to trend tonight on Twitter as people are now looking for a way to send their support to the IndyCar family. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyck has a look at Justin Wilson tonight and why he has so many fans in the sport. Rich? John, although Justin Wilson hasn't won a lot of IndyCar races, he has won a lot of respect. The commensurate competitor and driver, nice guy, and great dad. What's not to like about him? J Rich. Justin Wilson has won three IndyCar races. Not the biggest name in the sport, but he is called one of the most respected drivers in the sport. Starting out, Wilson couldn't find sponsors, so he sold stock in himself. Fans could literally invest in his career. He's engaging, smart, and popular. Jake Query is a sportscaster for IndyCar Radio. He was helping call Sunday's race outside Pocono. According to Query, Wilson has that rare ability to help his team engineers make the car go faster, then drive it well, and make friends along the way. If there's one driver that can take a car that's inferior and make it a good car, it's Justin Wilson. And he's just one of those guys that when you spend a couple minutes talking to him, you just feel like your day got a little bit better because he's always optimistic, always. Uh, I, understand. I spoke with a trauma surgeon here in Indianapolis who's treated numerous seriously injured IndyCar drivers. Dr. Tim Pullman has seen video of the accident. Pullman says the injuries have to be considered grave, but he says it is too early to form a prognosis. Here in Indianapolis, fans are just learning and coming to grips with the loss of beloved IndyCar driver Justin Wilson. Wilson was critically injured in a freak accident at the Pocono racetrack on Sunday. Last night we learned that he succumbed to his injuries. We've seen public mourning from family members and his fellow IndyCar drivers. Here in Indianapolis, fans are dealing with the loss in their own way. Sunrise reporter Kerry Klein is at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway where fans have put up a memorial in Justin Wilson's honor. Kerry, good morning. Hey, good morning, Bruce and Julia. And you can see that that tribute slowly starting to grow behind me from flowers and signs to conversation and hugs. This 
has become a gathering place where fans have come to pay their respect to Justin Wilson and share their grief with one another. As soon as the news broke last night, local race fans who live here in the Speedway area wasted no time placing candles, flowers, even flags. A moving tribute to a man many fans knew and loved. These are fans that spend every May at the track meeting and visiting with the IndyCar drivers. For them, this loss truly feels personal. We all live in the neighborhood. We've all been coming here. We've become friends because of the track. And, you know, you go through the garages, you meet these guys, they talk to you. They're like, they're part of the family. Just to honor Justin and honor his family. Um, big race fan, IndyCar fan, love the 500 and, you know, just to honor him. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway also paid tribute to Wilson, lighting up his name on the electronic scoring column inside the track. The shockwaves from Wilson's death can be felt around the world. On social media, a new hashtag is taking over from the hashtag pray for Justin to hashtag RIP Justin Wilson. Dale Earnhardt Jr. tweeted thoughts and prayers to his family, friends, and the IndyCar family. Hashtag RIP Justin Wilson. I'm back out here live. This memorial certainly will continue to grow as more fans in the area throughout central Indiana are able to make their way over here to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway to share their thoughts and their words of expression for a race car driver for a man many called a true gentleman. Reporting live from Speedway, Carrie Klein, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Carrie, thanks very much. Now, Justin Wilson is survived by his wife, Julia, and two children, as well as his brother, Stefan, who is also an IndyCar driver. Instead of flowers, the family is asking that fans donate to a trust fund set up to support Wilson's two children. We do have information on how you can give, along with the full IndyCar press conference announcing the tragedy on our website at WTHR.com. Just look for the Justin Wilson story on our homepage. Well, that was the video of Justin Wilson. And that'll be it for today, guys. By the way, let me check the internet. Let's see what. So, it was all about Justin Wilson. Who has had, 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 had <laughs> won a lot of IndyCar races. He was in a coma before his death Monday. He was like every driver. He injured an injured driver. Knows his sport's terrible risks. So. A friend of all drivers. He was a good driver, a great guy. He's going to be missed. He was the first IndyCar driver to be killed since his, since uh, Dan Weldon in the season finale race in 2011 at uh, Las Vegas. So he has three wins in IndyCar racing. That'll be it for today. Be sure um, to subscribe.
subscribe. Hope you all hope you all like this video. Do you share it with your friends. Subscribe. Comment on the please comment on the uh, link below. Favorite. And uh and I'll see you on the next video. And remember, keep your stick keep your stick on the ice.